I stand here in Yad Vashem, in Yerushalayim, studying the teaching of the Torah, Zachor et Asher Asa Lecha Amalek. In these holy words, our greatest of prophets and teachers, Moshe, enjoins our nation to remember the arch enemy of our people, Amalek. However, one word in this famous sentence in Deuteronomy 25 always struck me as intriguing. Moses is speaking to the people right before his departure from this world. The majority of people that he's addressing had not experienced the attack of Amalek. Most of those people had already died out in the 40 years of the Jewish journeys in the desert. Zachor et asher asa lecha Amalek? Remember that which Amalek did to you? To you? Did Amalek really do it to them? Wouldn't Zachor et asher asa Amalek li Yisrael? Remember what Amalek did to Israel, to the people of Israel. Or Zachor et asher asa Amalek la votechem. Remember what Amalek did to your ancestors. Wouldn't that be much more appropriate? And that seems to be the very point. The nation who had not experienced Amalek firsthand was to view the bitter and cruel attack of the Amalekites not as something that has happened to their parents or to their grandparents, but as something that took place that happened to them. The overwhelming majority of Jews that are alive, Baruch Hashem, today are not the ones that Hitler attacked 70 years ago. Nevertheless, the Torah seems to be teaching us that we are to remember what Hitler did to us, to not view it as only some tragic historical episode. Do not recall it as one would re retell a happening of yesteryear. It happened to you. The attack was against us, whether we were or we were not alive at the time. Yom HaShoah is a charge of a joint day of reflection and responsibility. On this national day of Holocaust, memory, memorial, and mourning, each of us has to join together with Am Yisrael and cry with the most bitter of tears. Kohelet, Ecclesiastes, taught us eight lifkot. There indeed is a proper time to cry. A member of our nation who is, God forbid, indifferent to the screaming souls of the six million is not reading Zachor et asher asa lecha. The rabbis teach in Tractate Ta'anit how we are all responsible to join in the community's collective pain. At the time when the Jewish nation is in a state of pain, an individual cannot take the attitude, I'll go home. It doesn't affect me personally. We are required to join the community in pain. And the Mishnah, the rabbis quote the teaching, the Baraita quotes the teaching of how Moses joined the Jewish people in their suffering. When the Jewish people were at battle, Moshe joined the battle. Moshe was active in this battle, even if he was not physically battling Amalek. He sat on a stone, asked the rabbis, he couldn't find something more comfortable to sit on? The king of Israel, the leader of Israel? There was no pillow, there was no cushion. Why is Moshe sitting on a stone? On a rock? The Jewish people are suffering, and I am suffering. I want to join their suffering. Yom HaShoah is the day where we think of each one of the one and a half million Jewish children. We know that each of them had a special message to bring to this world, and we know that that's why we recite Kaddish 
praying for the day of the glorification and sanctification of God's name and a full reinstatement of their particular message. Although no open reference to the dead can be found in the traditional Kaddish, Yitkadal v'yitkadash Shemeh Rabbah means that the annihilation of the six million caused the desecration of God's name. Each one's voice has been silenced, but we are dedicated to bringing their message to the world. Solomon Greg. Shane Lavoka, 17 years old, France. Alexander Isarov, three years old, Ukraine. Hitler once prided himself with being, I quote, the greatest liberator of humanity, freeing men from the dirty and degrading self-mortifications of a false vision, a Jewish invention called conscience and morality. We stand here in Yad Vashem. We broadcast on Yom HaShoah that the Jewish vision of which this so-called human being spoke is not only not a dirty and degrading self-mortification, but is rather the secret of tikkun olam, despite his efforts and the efforts of those who worked and joined with him. The redemptive message of the unique Jewish contribution of conscience and morality will increase and continue forever. God's name will be sanctified world over. The collective anguish of Yom HaShoah will lead to the ultimate consolation. Dina Chudovsky, two years old, Ukraine. Ida Chudovsky, 17 years old, Ukraine. 